Hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you who do not know me my name is jk also known as jk j and on instagram i'm underscore homie j that's another platform where i post all things home wellness travel and lifestyle so please do follow me this well to my returning subscribers welcome back and to my new subscribers, welcome i hope you guys will enjoy being here happy new year you guys happy 2024 it feels like i can't vlog anymore it's so weird to stand here and actually record a youtube video because i stopped my vlog must out of the way but i apologize for that and i told you guys that i didn't have the capability to actually continue based on the things that i had to do outside of content creation anyway happy 2024 i hope you guys i'm wishing everyone an amazing year ahead let's keep pushing let's keep working and trust god in that process so yeah um welcome back to yet another vlog so as you guys have seen um, I started the vlog by making banana muffins guys. I've always seen my mom making banana bread and I know how easy it is It always looked easy, but I actually tried it for the first time I load I didn't do the bread because I'm um, um, the pans that I have are actually big So I wanted to make a small banana loaf, but I don't have the pan So I had to do the muffins with that But I think I did well for someone who who tried for the first time. I think I did well I've been trying so many things so many cooking ways um, during the month of December um and yeah, I think I'm gonna really, really, really do it and also include what I try. But yeah, let me know what you think about those muffins that you saw. They're really nice, guys. I already ate one. Um, it's in the morning now, by the way. So I had them for breakfast. I'm still in my gown. So I'm just gonna take a shower quick. Um, what I'll be doing today, I am waiting for Speedy Clean to clean my couches. Guys, I didn't do my New Year spring cleaning. I won't even lie to you guys. I haven't done it yet. My couch is so dirty. Um, I had visitors over in December. People came. You know for those daily visits and all that so my couch is a bit dirty and yeah i haven't washed it since the last time i vlogged I, I don't know when was that i think it was september so water i'll show you guys how it looks you know so now like i was drinking juice or water and then it spill on the couch so it has marks it hasn't really had so much so many marks but now it does so i called speedy clean to come and assist me in cleaning that so that's what i'll be doing first then yeah we'll see how the rest of the vlog is gonna go also while we are still here please do not forget to subscribe guys i need to get to 4,000 subscribers also please don't skip the ads ads help me get revenue and if you skip the ads and just watch then you will not be assisting a creator and i know you guys have been watching i've been seeing that but i'm encouraging those that haven't been watching so yeah let me show you guys oh, how my couch, couch looks so i've been drinking water or drinking juice then it spills or some love bev and stuff so that's definitely liquid so it looks like you know when a child plays and you don't clean my couch has never been this steady but i need to show you guys this thing so that you can see that my house is not always this clean like I, I i i do the work i do the work to keep it that clean so this is how my couch looks and i know speedy clean will be able to help me i'm gonna show you guys when the guys get here i think the main thing the couch at the bottom is not that dirty it's just the the the, the, the cushions and where we sit there you see by here guys what <laughs> but i told myself like let me let because what i've been doing is that like when it's dirty on top i'll turn it to the other side so when both sides are dirty then that's when i call speedy clean so yeah guys 
let's wait for them to come because I cannot sit here any longer. And it is now dry. Please check how clean, how spotless. Remember the remarks there? All gone. Speedy Clean knows their job. How amazing. My gosh, it's clean again. hi guys hi again so i am back from the dentist so today i just didn't greet in the morning i went straight for my dental appointment and also i'm trying to avoid this um what's this so now i'm gonna do this so i'm not gonna do now i'm gonna do this so i'd rather show you guys what i'm doing then when it's time to talk i talk i don't know if i'll be able to do that but yeah so i'm coming from my dental appointment guys today today i have elastics on so first i went for my elastic chains and just that monthly appointment just to check how my teeth look like now so i'm gonna try and insert a picture of how my teeth currently uh, look like when i first went for before i had braces on so now there's a big change guys this tooth was up there and this one has really done so now the braces pull them so they are slightly 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 there so they are aligning bit by bit i'm so happy with the progress and i got uh lime green guys ever since dr t said i must try color i am not going back <laughs> i am not going back and also another thing she said that um um, I think my teeth need to align properly here at the back. As much as this brace is on, I need to put elastic. So she gave me these um, elastic. So I need to put them every day when I'm not eating and when I'm sleeping, I'm taking them off. It's like irreg. I don't know what you guys call them in English. It's elastic. Is it an elastic? Yeah. So, the, so I pull them. I put one up there and another one down there so that they can just help my teeth align. So I'm trying my best to cooperate so that my teeth can be straight, guys. I can't wait for to have a perfect set of teeth but yeah man i'm happy with the progress dr t is really helping me with this journey um yeah anyway so yeah that's what i did today so i think i'm gonna close off this vlog here today i'll see you guys properly tomorrow i don't really have much i think we're just gonna do a little chat tomorrow i'll see how it goes but yeah that's basically what i had for you today just wanted to give you guys an update on how my teeth currently are but there's a big progress guys these elastics are not really 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 that um they're not that comfy <laughs> but when, when i when i had them at, for the first time um i couldn't open my mouth at all but now i can actually speak you know but yeah i really feel them <laughs> i really feel them and also i think i have so many things to say oh okay about the about my braces so are uh, these people that were asking about braces i know there's a lot of people that want to have braces on because of their teeth and all that but they are scared to ask and all that because they think it's so expensive i'm gonna leave um uh, information in the description box i'm also gonna just try and put it here because i shared it on my instagram recently people were so shocked that braces can actually be affordable like that you know um if i remember properly let's say she said her braces range from a uh, fifteen thousand to twenty five thousand. then let's say you want to have braces on then okay obviously you're gonna go for um consultation 500 rand then um you're gonna pay it once off that's like a once off consultation fee then after that you are gonna pay five thousand rand um the day they fit in the braces so that will show what yes you're on this journey because people can come for consultation and never come again you know so like five thousand rand for that then let's say your braces are twenty thousand rand i hope i'm making sense let's say your braces are twenty thousand rand so the five thousand the five hundred rand for consultation is not part of the twenty thousand rand then the five thousand that you're gonna pay for them to fit in your braces is part of the twenty thousand rand then after that so it's gonna be twenty thousand minus five thousand 
that you would pay then it's going to be um then divided by 24 months which is two years then you're going to pay 625 per month yes 625 per month for two years obviously if you want to pay it off before you can do that but just for those people that just want to pay 625 you can so it's very affordable if you don't have medical aid you can pay it cash so yeah i'm gonna try and leave this information it's not gonna to be too long just down there for those that are interested in my braces on having braces on anyway let's close it off right here i'm so tired i'm gonna see you guys properly today tomorrow then you're gonna just chat a bit about the new year Come back to yet another day. Mm. I just made this shaken iced coffee. It is so nice. I tried it the other day and I was like, I'm going to make it again this morning because I haven't had breakfast. I don't feel like food yet. So I'm just going to drink this while we talk. So welcome back guys welcome back welcome back to yet another day today i honestly don't have anything to do like you saw i just started my morning i am having my iced coffee now so i just wanted to talk about the new year you know um i'm feeling more motivated than last year a bit more motivated than last year um because every year comes with so many lessons and i feel like i need to put a lot of work this year in order to achieve the goals that i want um because i feel like i was at some point i was at some point very comfortable with myself more especially with my growth okay i'm not gonna talk about my career and talk about my outside life i'm gonna talk about content creation my journey here of growth and everything you know so i feel like last year more especially on instagram i felt so comfortable about my growth like i never okay as much as i was i, I appreciate the numbers when they are increasing brands approaching and all that but I I feel like I was never worried about having to refine, having to add in more things, having to, because I, I know that when I post something, obviously I'll get the love and all that. But then that made me to just be a bit lazy sometimes and just like, Ugh, I don't need to post, even though I've been consistent. But trust me, if you know behind the backs, you'll know that I wasn't really putting much of the work, not throughout the whole year, but at some point, I think around after June, I think after my surgery, you know, but I understand that maybe I was tired also from the surgery, but I feel like I was like really comfortable. But then this year, the motto is to never be comfortable. And even though I get the recognition, uh, even though I grow, I just need to keep um, working on my self refining because um ever since i incorporated cooking content i can see that i'm getting more views more likes you know than before we just finish up pieces only yes people love my home people love hoping to finish up pieces but i realize that the more you refine your craft not refining by taking better videos but to refine by incorporating more things so i'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna limit myself i'm gonna show you guys more of my lifestyle i'm gonna show you guys more of my things because i think that's what people want you know i cannot show you the same thing over and over again i'm not gonna stop showing my house because my main niche is my home but i'm gonna refine my craft more and more but yeah the motto is not to be too comfortable because i know when you just up there um you have maybe like let's say three thousand uh, subscribers you know that um really you're gonna get the love you're gonna get the comments but trust me comments mean, mean a lot more especially to me you can like yes but comments you know comments mean a lot to me when people are like please share more please share more please share more just like i've never thought of sharing what i eat in a day like i've been trying this fitness um healthy habits eating vibes last year but then i fell off when i went for my surgery um i was eating proper before before my surgery because my ba is what is it that thing my weight had to be constant because of my surgery needed me to weigh a certain way you know weight you know so but then after that i started eating whatever then some days i eat healthy some things i know so this year i said i'm gonna incorporate like um 
a series what i eat in a day because that will help me to be more like to hold myself accountable because people are like jay please share more jay what did you eat today and if i haven't posted that people are like jay what did you eat today i'll have to show them because i started the series so that's what i'm trying to do this year to be more consistent like i've always been but not to be comfortable because i know you can be so comfortable sometimes you're like i'm not gonna shoot at least they're gonna watch that but because the goal is to grow i don't want to end up with just paid partnership i want to end with my, my 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 to have my own business one day that people will actually support you know so yeah just want to tell you guys that and also please guys if you want to start creating content i know sometimes maybe people are gonna be like not everybody's a content creator some are content consumers which is good but um if you feel like you 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 you, you can you you what's this I'm not gonna be it's not this is not some motivational vibes but i just want to say this because this has been on my in my mind ever since the year started like if you want to create content just create stop looking at what jackie has because you don't know how i started you don't know what i had when i started so just create because at some point more especially when you're a home content creator like that's your home that's your space that's your personal space so there's a high chance for you to compare yourself oh jackie has a new couch i don't jackie has new curtains i don't do you remember do you know when i started i never had like those curtains i never had that couch i had the uh, facebook marketplace couch that was used blah 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 and all those things but it's because the more you focus on your journey i know it's not easy because when you consume content on social media you can have a lot of peer pressure but trust me remember as much as you can you can be motivated but don't feel like you want because of you'll fo you'll end up losing your um, your own 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 vision about your own life because you want to be the same way as another person is i hope i'm making sense so yeah that's what i want to do this year i want to incorporate more new things man things that you guys are not used to as much as it can be in the same house but do different thing cook more bake do all those things and not be comfortable because i know if should i had should i have how am i gonna say this <laughs> if i was gonna stay um the same way being comfortable i don't think I was gonna get the growth still luckily i remembered myself and i was like no you are starting to be lazy you are starting to not be creative and people are gonna get bored so yeah that's what i wanted all to i wanted to say that if you feel like creating content just create content with what you have more especially if you're a home content creator for me i don't think i'd ever do fashion um content because i feel like there's a lot of peer pressure for me but there are some people that are actually um that love fashion to the point that they'd want to create content like fashion content you know but I mean, I don't think I'll be able to keep up because I'm always in the house, man. I need to go out more often, which I'm trying to do this year. But sometimes as much as you want to create content, you need to check which will you be able to keep up with the home trends, with the fashion trends, with the food trend with the lifestyle train you need to do that so yeah i'm just i just thought of just letting you guys know what has been my mind about myself so that you can see with as much as you can see yourself growing because i can see constant growth but there's some point whereby i saw Uguti, i'm actually in the win a1 i was not moving and i knew which the reason was because I was too comfortable <laughs> i wasn't refining my craft i was just taking a camera shoot a uh, brushing teeth sit down only and all that not here on youtube i think on instagram i'm actually talking about instagram here but on youtube i think i can just be myself um but what i incorporate on youtube on my instagram i also incorporate here but uh, yeah the goal is actually to also grow here i'm hoping i will be able to get a camera this year and also just to you know refine my craft here as well because as much as i want to grow i need to make sure that i put in the effort i put in the work i put in i use more props i use you know those different types of things but yeah but just want to say thank you for such an amazing year i'm not going to be all chatty it's not even big whatever i wanted to say wasn't really that much but i just wanted to tell you what's in my mind in this new year write those goals down let's write those goals down and just tick them by the end of the year but yeah guys today's vlog i wanted to take you guys along as i'm going for my ice bath sorry i almost fell for my ice bath but actually um my appointment has been postponed to the following week. hopefully i will be able to take you guys along on that ice bath guys i'm gonna try ice bathing for the first time apparently it helps with um pain healing anxiety and depression for me i think i'm gonna do it for i just want to experience and also for anxiety because i do have anxiety sometimes but i don't have anxiety all the time i have anxiety because of some specific stuff and i'm trying to work on that so as much as you pray as much as you work out but there's more things that you need to do and i just want to give it a try you know ice bathing like it's a bathtub 
they put in ice is sitting there for some minutes so i'm gonna take you guys on that if it happens because it was so packed last week so i couldn't go so i'm gonna try and go next week and if i can i am definitely gonna vlog that but for now let's close you off right here please do not forget to subscribe like and engage and i'll see you guys in the next video bye